I'm speaking with Jeremy Colvard, Vice President at Ray Corporation. Raycorp designs and produces cutting-edge engineered heating, cooling, and refrigeration systems. Today we'll be discussing Ray Corporation's new adiabatic pre-cooling evaporative exchange known as Apex Cooling Technology. Apex is manufactured by Technical Systems, a division of Raycorp. Jeremy, can you please describe the design of Apex technology-based cooling systems? Our Apex solution combines the simplicity of traditional ambient air as a media to transfer heat and the efficiency advantages of evaporative cooling utilizing the wet bulb temperature to reduce the incoming air temperature to the heat exchanger, whether that be a condenser cool used on a condensing unit or a chiller or even a fluid cooler utilized for an economizer application. And now, I understand that this design affords Apex users benefits in terms of efficiency, water usage, and maintenance. Can you please go into more detail about how the systems provide these benefits? Sure. An air-cooled unit is simple and effective in most ambient temperatures. There is very little maintenance required with an air-cooled machine, and of course there is no need for water. A traditional evaporative-cooled unit requires 100% water usage all the time to meet the design capacity. That said, there are huge advantages and efficiencies by working off the wet bulb temperature. In some cases, we've recorded as much as 40%. The downside is the water usage and the fact that the water has to be chemically treated to maintain both the pH level and, of course, the conductivity of the water. Our Apex offering is the best of both worlds. So depending on how the design engineer applies our Apex equipment, water will only be utilized any time the ambient temperature is above the wet bulb design temperature, thus reducing the yearly water consumption as much as 90% of traditional water-cooled unit. In most cases, the need for water treatment is not needed at all. We're able to accomplish that in a couple of different ways. One, every job that we sell, we do a water sample with the source water at the job site. We analyze a set of nine different parameters of the water to see if chemical injection is required. Every morning, we do a dry out cycle at 2 a.m. with our controller. That allows us to keep the pad dry. During that dry out cycle, any sediments or microbial growth, algae that has started to grow, is dried and then when the water comes back on then that sediment is washed out of the pad. The pads that we use have a 45 degree flute. It's 45 degree slant on the entering air side of the media. That also does that does two things. One, promotes 100 percent of the water to get to the outside surface of the media where we maximize heat transfer and also when we bring the water back on after the drought cycle it promotes better cleaning of the pads. So with that design, coupled with the water samples we look at, most cases we find water treatment is not required. And lastly, what settings or applications is Apex best suited for? Our Apex solution can be applied in nearly any application in the HVAC market. Right now, we're finding success um, in colleges, universities, hospitals, data centers, Um, We're finding them uh, in the retrofit market where, say, a chiller was sold on a hospital and an economizer wasn't utilized. So we're finding where we can go back into those applications and offer a economizer utilizing our Apex technology to be piped in series with the existing chiller and in many cases gain huge efficiencies for the hospital where no mechanical cooling is required 40% of the year. Thanks so much, Jeremy, for taking the time to speak with us about the groundbreaking new Apex technology and the benefits of efficiency, water usage, and maintenance it affords over competing technologies. For more information on the Apex cooling technology, please visit their website at www.ray-corp.com. Technical Systems is a division of Raycorp.